hi guys welcome back to lifestyle love so one of my personal goals for this year was to decorate Rocco's bedroom the walls were looking um, quite bare and I thought it was time I started spending some time and money decorating his bedroom I really wanted to keep the room feeling I guess quite soft and tranquil because this is obviously where he winds down and falls asleep and has fingers crossed a good night's sleep but I also didn't want to completely blow the budget and I really wanted to make sure that I decorated his room in a theme and style that obviously matched the rest of the house. Now, in coming up with ideas to decorate Rocco's bedroom that didn't involve absolutely blowing my own personal budget, I thought it was time I made for you another video on my top five budget-friendly interior decorating tips and techniques. So here we go. Now one of the biggest challenges that I found in decorating Rocco's bedroom was nothing on the walls and I couldn't find anything on the walls that I actually liked. But I discovered a Swedish company that make these gorgeous posters called Decinio. Now not only do they have an amazing collection of gorgeous photographs and Im images and illustrations, they also have suggestions as to how to lay it out because I love that kind of eclectic collective look where you can blend all sort of similar themes and colors and styles together and position them on the wall and Rocco um, when these arrived they came rolled up they were so cost effective I couldn't believe how cheap they were I was actually um, really surprised as how gorgeous they were and you can also buy the posters but what I loved about this um, particular brand is on the website they have suggested ideas as to how you can lay out the different images that you've picked and how it's going to look so I highly recommend checking out this website and Rocco's absolute favorite out of all of these are is actually the the world atlas he loves to sit there and look at it and look at all the images of the animals for each country so it's kind of an educational interior design um, blessing here and it's great because they're on the ground um, which I was didn't initially plan to do but because he loves them so much he sits on the ground looking at each one and talking about it which I think is super cute so I'm actually going to keep these sitting on the floor um, for the time being while he really enjoys them so my second tip for cost-effective budget-friendly interior design techniques is colored cardboard boxes now you can buy colored cardboard boxes from any arts and crafts shop or any good news agency but what I've actually done is I've kept the boxes from a few luxurious um, splurges that I've had in the past which I've saved up and paid for in cash and I've held on to them and I've just neatly stacked them here so you can see two Hermes boxes and one Chanel box underneath and I very rarely throw these boxes out because they are really well made and they do kind of add that luxurious touch and feel to a room um, without the price tag. My third budget friendly interior decorating technique is travel guides. Whenever I go to a new country or a new city, I try and do a little bit of research before I get there so I know what I want to see and how I want to spend my precious holiday time. When I get back, I like to add them to this pile and seeing them neatly stacked up with their different colours and the different cities located on the, on the side kind of adds an international glamorous feel that doesn't cost a fortune. And these books you can actually buy secondhand online through places like eBay, Amazon or even your local charity op shop would also stock these. But seeing them neatly stacked up is a really nice touch. It also, it's something you can share with other people that come in your home. And personally, I cannot wait to add to this collection. Which brings me to tip number four, and that is coffee table books. Now, some coffee table books can be incredibly expensive, but if you know how to buy and where to buy, this can actually save you a lot of money, but still give you that chic, elegant feel and look when you buy designer coffee table books. Now, I have a gorgeous collection of Chanel books, and they're all soft back. So because they're soft back and not hard back, they were actually a lot cheaper to buy. Also, you can find these from secondhand books, eBay, um, Amazon as well, and I've even bought some of these from garage sales for a couple of dollars. But again, neatly stacked up with intention and purpose, as I mentioned in my previous interior decorating video, but can look really elegant and have a soft feminine feel without the price tag. So my fifth and final tip or technique for decorating on a budget is ribbon and lampshades. Now, 
there are so many amazing unusual eclectic vintage almost like collector's items lampshades that you can find on gumtree ebay or craigslist depending on what country you are and they're so cost effective to buy especially if you buy second hand you're less likely to find it reproduced in another shop but when i find a lampshade that i absolutely love and it matches my personal style and taste what I like to do is get some ribbon and put it with double-sided sticky tape on the top and bottom to add a kind of chic, sophisticated look that will work within my home and it also matches my bed linen. Now, this ribbon I bought from Spotlight, it cost me less than $5 for top and bottom for two lampshades. But when you understand and know what your interior design style and taste is, it's really easy from that point on to go and find cost-effective, budget-friendly ideas and techniques that can make your home a beautiful one that you are absolutely love and are really proud of. So that's it for this video. As always, I love hearing your feedback. Let me know if you have other budget-friendly interior decorating ideas because I'm happy to make as many of these videos as you like, so just let me know. And of course, share these ideas with other subscribers. Now, I will see you either next week on either Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. And <laughs> I can never say that word. And you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now. Bye.